Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another Addicted Vlog. Today, we are heading back to Roseburg. Me and Sean are about to pick up a boat, and it was one of the boats that we gave away in this last year of uh, bashes we did. You guys came to our bashes and supported us, filled out a ticket, and that ticket was for a boat that we were giving away. So, now we're getting it. We already picked the guy. We're gonna surprise him with a fully built out boat, so stay tuned. All right. Got some snacks. We're on our way. We're here. About to get the boat. Umqua Marine. Look at that boat. This is pretty neat. Pretty lightweight. It ended up being heavier than I wanted it to be, but we yeah. we just couldn't couldn't quit. Yeah. <laughs> just, we kept adding, you know, we put some trays, we put trays back here, side trays, you know, flotation boxes here and here, flotation yeah. up there. We just you know made sure that we I don't know, we built it sturdy. We can't build something that's flimsy yeah. like got the you know, motor mount on it. Yeah. You know, it's it's basically a home built. That's yeah. what it is, is a home built. So yeah. Well the guy should be guy should be stoked to get it. I would think so. Yeah. We may just rope it. Okay. Through there, onto a tie there, yeah, and onto yeah. there, and then really don't need too much more. And then probably going up over the transom. He's got hooks like my ram does. I think he's got some there. Yeah. We just hook that, and strap it over, and I think you're good to go. Okay. You guys are gonna get this loaded up for us, and we're gonna get it tied down and get it back to Marlon's house without it flying out the back of the truck. <laughs> no, it's not scratching. Those are sticking out way too far. It's his brackets? Yep. Well, let's leave the fair in case we're going to take it off. So it looks like the, the oh, truck bed is wide it. enough, but the numbers on the website for the truck bed width don't include these brackets that Marlon has on here for his tunnel cover. So, we're gonna try to get this to work so we don't have to drive three hours back home with nothing. <laughs> we'll let you guys know how it goes. But this is pretty solid. I mean, the only thing we might, well, let's try this is, let's, Lift we it up on it in up here, too. and then it can set on these. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'll just slide it back. Yeah. Good, Junior. Well, Marlin, taking your truck apart. Now you got a bed yeah, in the back of your truck, Marla. You guys probably could have put this and strapped it up on that thing up there. Uh, right. It's fine. <laughs> now it'll stay dry. Keep going. Oh. There. Oh. there you go. There. We got it. Alright. All right. Sweet. Looks Thanks good. Mike. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll maintain the uh, social distancing and the next, handshaking thing. Next time we'll <laughs> bring a trailer. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. 
This looks amazing. Oh, wow. That was good. All right, guys, well, we just stopped for lunch. The guys at the shop said that we had to stop and try this place. You know, everyone knows that I like pizzas, so they recommended this. And this thing's got brisket and bacon on it, so definitely worth a try. Lunch was amazing. We are heading to the gas station. This guy's trying to run out in front of the truck. I'm gonna stop by the gas station, fill up, and get home. Show Marlon that we took his truck apart a little bit. See how that goes. All right, guys, so here we are. Part two of this little vlog, Mike and Sean were kind enough to drive down to Roseburg, Oregon and pick up the addicted pond hopper. If you guys were able to come to any of our bashes in 2019, basically all of last year, we do these events around the, around the Northwest where we give you an opportunity to win a boat. And a lot of you guys came out and drove, showed up, and one lucky winner was drawn live on our Facebook and YouTube live stream that we do every single Wednesday. And here it is, he won the addicted pond hopper. We're gonna roll some sick B-roll shots of this boat right here. Huge shout out to Minn Kota, Hummingbird, Cannon. They were gracious enough to donate a few things to this little boat build and obviously we couldn't have been able to do it without Umqua Marine. So if you guys are looking for a boat or you want a custom boat built, hit up Umqua Marine. We'll have links down below. Alrighty, we just picked up the battery here. We got this guy a, a marine cycle battery so he can run his trolling motor and stuff. And now we're going to put him in our GPS here and head to his house and deliver this thing. If I can find my Google Maps, freaking my Google Maps thing. Why is it doing that, Mike? Why is it doing that? You don't use that? No, I freaking hate Apple Maps compared to Google. Screw it. We're rolling it. We're rolling it, boys. We are seven minutes away. He lives right in my same town. What are the odds of that, dude? We did bashes. Where did we do bashes? We did them in Puyallup, Fife, freaking all the way down in Roseburg. Yeah. We did them all over the place, and somehow the dude that lives in my town drew. We didn't even do a bash in this town. No. What a lucky sucker. What a lucky son. He probably came to the Vancouver Sportsman's Warehouse. That's where he got drawn from. Probably. Looks like it's right here. Yep. There it is. There it is, boys. That's kind of good. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Well, well, I was going to come and take some pictures. Were well, you too. excited? Oh, excited. I've been waiting since. Uh, <laughs> How long? Two months? Wow. The Pond Hopper. Yep. Addicted pond How are you doing? Good. How you doing? Good. We got a bunch of men Nice. I mean, Hummingbird got, gave you a fish finder. Yeah. Minn Kota gave wow. you a trolling motor. We went wow. and bought you a bat. I literally just stopped oh, just now and bought you a battery. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's what she came what do you want right for there. Beautiful. Yeah. It is powder coated. Yeah. So it scratches easy. Very sure. easy. Like I wouldn't have powder coated it. Put it in backwards if you can. I don't know if it'll fit. fit in there. Well, you have to turn it sideways. Go up like this. Yep. Just like that. Yep. That's, that's cool. exactly what I was thinking. Oh, that's good. This is really great. I, I, uh, my son kind of got me into the, 
And then I just got this iPhone. I still haven't figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, appreciate it. Yep. Enjoy yep. it. All right. Well, how thank about you. a group shot of all you guys? Yeah. Make sure you send me a picture when you get that first fish in here. All right. All right. I hope it's a big one. I hope so too. <laughs> he says not. Look at him. And we'll send you guys a couple sweatshirts and okay. hats and stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Good. Yep. All right. You got guys. the address. Thank you. Nice Thanks again. Thank you. Nice Have a wonderful day. Me too. We'll see ya. Yeah, we'll be good. All right, there you have it everyone. We finally gave away the giveaway boat from 2019. We're super excited and blessed to be able to do this. And we wanna do more of this kind of stuff. So if you guys wanna see more of this stuff, if you guys want us to give away a boat in 2020 to our YouTube crowd, all you people out there in YouTube watching, who thinks we should give away a boat to someone out there in YouTube land? If you do, smash the thumbs up button, give this video to 10,000 likes. If this video hits 10,000 likes, we're gonna do a boat giveaway this year and give away a boat to one of our YouTube fans. Thanks for getting the boat, Mike. That yeah. guy was stoked. Yeah, he was pretty stoked. He was, was stoked. More of this stuff to come. We appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for being subscribers. We'll see you on the river. See you.